Hello, my name is Sharvin and I am the founder of Use Sastit. Over the years, I have developed many apps for my clients and throughout this journey, I identified a growing need for robust SaaS templates. Today, I am excited to introduce Use Sastit's very first product template, Netstress Superbiz SaaS template. The template is built using Netstress for the frontend and backend, Superbiz for the database and backend services, Recent for the email functionality, Telvin CSS and Chat CN for styling and Stripe for handling payments and subscriptions. The template is divided into three parts, client on fit, server on fit and Telvin CSS. In the client on fit, you can change the name of the application, the social media profiles, the default local, the default theme, auth related things and the feature flags, dates and validations. You can also change what's visible related to the payment for the end user. For example, the features and what pricing plan you recommend or it's the most popular plan. Now, for this example, let's disable the language switcher. It's as simple as setting false for enable language switcher. And as you can see, the language switcher is disabled. Now let's move on to renaming of our application. Let's rename it to Potimon. And as you can see, the name of our application has changed from use Sastrit to Potimon. Under server config, you can update configuration related to emails if you want to send onboarding subscription saying subscription cancel organization delete emails you can update stripe payment related configuration such as if you want to have trial period you can update the storage protect name that's also available under the tailwind css you can update the color related properties for both light and dark theme so those options are also available on top of this configuration this template has marketing pages, the template has documentation related pages, the template has blog related pages available. There is also a wait list, there are also email related pages built into the template and there is API key related infrastructure available supporting public APIs for your application. There is multi-organization support with roles and permissions and a lot of things. But the things don't end over here. There is a good documentation, the documentation that support uh, that explains to you how to start, how to deploy your application to production, what are the checklists that you should follow and in-depth detail of every feature available in the application or in the template. With this template, you can launch your startup within a week and start validating your MVP quickly. But if you run into any issues, feel free to reach out. I am just an email away and I am always happy to help you guys. Happy launching.